Hi, my name is Tom Zeckman. I'm the Assistant Dean of the College of Engineering here at Ohio Northern University. And what we would like to do today is to give you a virtual tour of the new James Lur Kennedy, the JLK Engineering Building. In the design process, we had the architect meet with groups of students and students gave us very specific feedback on what they thought was important in a new engineering building. Students said, we want workspace for our projects. Students said, we want places to study together and alone. Students said, we want technology. And students said, we love natural light. You will see examples of all of those in this tour as we go around. The faculty also met, and the faculty had a statement uh, in which they said, we want to make sure this building is the very best way to teach engineering in the year 2020 and on into the future. We want to make sure it's welcoming, and we want to have faculty accessible to students. And you'll see ways in which we did all of that as well. This is the Crown Innovation Center. This was one of the key features of the building. It's right off the entrance of the building on the first floor, and this space says hands-on. Around me right now, this is the Baja vehicle. Every year, a group of students design and build this dune buggy type vehicle and go to two or three different competitions all around the country. We have a remote control airplane. We have a robot football team, and there are so many other competitions and also capstone projects and also special projects. And students have access to this space, workbenches, toolboxes, uh, ventilation system, and it has just been a great, great asset to this building. This is the shop area, also on the first floor, also very accessible to students. This was an important part of the design of the building as we were putting it together. We wanted to make sure we had this hands-on space. I'm standing in the, the metalworking shop. There's a woodworking shop around the corner. There's a fabrication shop in the back where we have welders and plasma cutters, and this is accessible to students. The new building was a $30 million building, and actually we put about a million dollars worth of new equipment throughout the building. A lot of it landed in here. We said that students requested good study spaces. This was how we answered that request. This is a collaboration space or a collaboration area, and you can see there are tall tables and short tables and hard chairs and soft chairs and group spaces and additional spaces just for individuals. And the collaboration space is surrounded by huddle rooms. In the huddle rooms, you can go in and close the door with just one or two or three of you. And this area, we have a space just like this or similar to it on all three floors of the building. Students said they wanted technology. The faculty said they want students to have access to that technology. This is the maker space. It's one of the crown jewels in, in the entire building. As you can see, these are 3D printers. We have 3D printers, we have laser cutters, we have computers, we have equipment and tools for high-tech projects that students work on. This room is not dedicated to any one class or any one program. This is available to all students. We have a technician who's here all day, every day to assist students on projects that they want to work on. One important group of students that we want to engage is our brand new incoming freshman class. All freshmen take an introduction to engineering class called Foundations of Design, their very first, their very first day on campus. And we built a freshman engineering complex. We've got two classrooms that are identical and they're separated by this mini workshop. Freshmen have an opportunity to learn. They do a lot of working in group projects and the classroom desks are really workbenches on wheels that can be rolled together so we can have groups of two or groups of four and also use it as a classroom. The third floor is comprised of teaching classrooms, teaching labs, and computer labs. This is a typical teaching classroom. It has technology as you can see. I've got a camera and I can film a lecture or utilize that technology however I like. Each of these desks, they're heavy duty but they're lightweight and they're on rollers and this classroom can be moved around in any way to accommodate the teaching. This room is one of our four computer labs in the building. Three of the computer labs are similar to this, designed for teaching. This has 36 stations. One of them is just a student computer lounge where we don't do any teaching. These computer labs are available to students anytime it's not being used as a classroom. Students may access it and use the computers for their work projects throughout the day and the evening. 
One of the most important priorities in design of the building was to make sure that we had plenty of spacious, usable teaching labs. You don't just learn engineering by reading a book and taking a test. You've got to design it. You've got to build it. You've got to test it. This is one such teaching lab. This is our circuits lab. and You can see the workbenches around the room where students can work in teams of two. And in the center of the room, again, we have these portable tables that can be used for workbenches or for desks. And this room with all of the teaching labs is accessible to all students with their ID 24 hours a day. Students can come in and work on projects in the finest facilities. The building was designed to be able to teach engineering in the very best way possible. We want to teach, we want to learn, we want to collaborate, and we want to have opportunities for hands-on. But we also said let's have a little fun and have a little pizzazz and we made sure to include an outdoor terrace. In nice weather, this is one of the most popular sites in the building, this third floor terrace accessible from the building and is a great place for both students and faculty to sit, to eat, to relax, and to study. Thank you for having joined us on this virtual tour of the JLK Engineering Building. I hope it has been enlightening for you. The college has excellent faculty, great staff, and a building that is second to none. And that's why we are so proud to be able to teach engineering to the next generation of engineers and computer scientists. Thank you for joining us. Please return for a personal tour if you'd like to do that as well.